Well, welcome back to Preservation Travels with Lane and Kevin here at our Restoration Nation. Today, we're bringing you extraordinarily beautiful Montpelier Plantation. Welcome to Mount Pillar Plantation here in Adams County. Now, we are out in the country sitting on five beautiful acres of land, but we're about three minutes from downtown Natchez. So this home gives you the best of both worlds. This home is a fascinating architectural testament to this time period in American architecture. Most people, when they think about plantation houses, homes that existed during the antebellum period, sat on active plantations, they tend to think of the Hollywood version of those homes. Twelve Oaks and Terra, huge grand homes that look like our own Stanton Hall or Monmouth or Dunleith. The truth is most of your actual active plantation homes, plantation structures, would have been far more like this, much more simple, pars down, utilitarian in function. And that's what we see here at Montpelier. So let's show you some of the beautiful architecture that remains from its build date of 1858. Okay, we're pulling out all the stops to convince you that you need some Miracle Made sheets. Kittens! We brought kittens along to remind you that Miracle-Made sheets are soft as this little baby's fur. We're convinced 
These sheets are in fact a miracle. They're keeping us cool even in the height of this Southern heat. Miracle Made sheets are inspired by NASA and use silver infused fabrics that are temperature regulating so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. Miracle sheets are self cleaning. Their sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. They're designed for your skin. Stop sleeping on gross bacteria. Bacteria that can clog your pores, cause breakout and acne. Sleep clean with Miracle. Go to trymiracle.com slash restore to try Miracle Made Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code RESTORE at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash restore and use the code RESTORE to claim your three-piece towel set and save over 40%. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash restore. And we want to say a special thank you to Miracle Made for sponsoring this episode. This home was built by Charles Whitmore in 1858. Now there was an earlier home here on this property built around 1843, but thanks to Mr. Whitmore's diary that now exists in North Carolina, we know that on the night of July the 4th of 1857, the family returned home to find the existing home in flames. And in his diary, he writes that the family is able to go in and save most of the furniture, but the house burned to the ground and they had to live in the carriage house. They hired master architect Thomas Seaton and master mason Charles Reynolds to immediately begin the planning and building of their new home here on the site of Mount Pelier. It's important to note that Reynolds is also the stonemason who helped in the construction of Stanton Hall. So he had done some of our huge grand homes here in Natchez, but here he came to do a much, much more simple design. The design and construction begins in summer, late summer of 1857, and the home is ready to move into by February of 1858. So a very quick construction, but you'll see why. It's a very simple plan, two pile design, meaning only two rooms deep, with our center hall meeting in the back to have a dining room in the center. You see behind me the stunning original door surround, two leaf doors, with their beautiful double molding. We see that echoed in the dining room. So you would have had once again that center hall for that wonderful summertime pull through breeze. But other than that, the architectural elements in this room are incredibly simple. Let's go into the main living room and take a look at their very trendy mantelpieces. Behind me, you see one of the two original mantelpieces that are extant in this home. They're very unique for this time period. You see the Gothic arch. We see very few of those in this 18, late 1850s time period here in Natchez. Where else have we seen them? We saw them at Mount Repose, but very few and far between. I want to point out the floorboards in this room. You'll note these are cypress boards. They run almost the entire length of the room, unless there have been a few small replacements in a few areas. Other than that, the floorboards run the entire length of the space. We do have tall mop boards, baseboards, but you'll notice the lack of any additional ornamentation in this room. This would have been a public room. This would have been a room to receive company, yet we have no crown. We have no ceiling medallion. This is a farmhouse. It is a very basic, simple design, but so beautiful in its simplicity of construction. So off of your main formal living space, you have another set of beautiful, what appear to be original double doors that enter into what's being used now as a study. Behind the study, you have a full bath. So here is another opportunity for another bedroom here on the first floor. And that's certainly how I would utilize it. I would turn that additional front room back into a formal parlor that you're gonna see here in just a second and use this one as a secondary downstairs bedroom. Here we are on the opposite side from that formal parlor. This would have been the family's parlor. Why do I think that? It's ever so slightly smaller than the one that we were just in, just barely smaller, but that does give us an indication that this would have been more of a private space. But here's the second of those two mantles that I was telling you about. 
They look brand new. They've been beautifully restored and cared for. You can see the surrounds have been replastered, the inside lime washed. This is what this mantle would have looked like when this home was newly built in 1858. Now I'm going to take you to the dining room and show you the incredible staircase that rises to the second floor. Well, welcome into the dining room. You've heard me say it a thousand times. They're always my favorite room in a house. And this one is no exception. This room is my favorite room thanks to this gloriously constructed original stair. Again, very unique here in Natchez. You'll see that it is an elliptical stair that rises and is only open here at the very base. The handrail and the newel post harken back really to a slightly earlier period. They could almost be federal in design. You have these gorgeous tapered columns here that run up the open portion and then it closes and ascends to the second floor. Absolutely stunning and again almost one of a kind here in the city of Natchez. Here we are in the main bedroom, main suite. This home is really a wonderful mix of the historic and the modern. It is such a livable home. Kevin and I have gone through this home all day going, wow, we would have bought this. Wow, we would have bought this. If we didn't have Hope Farm, we would have bought this home for so many reasons. And this main suite is one of them, a first floor main suite with a huge ensuite bath. But architecturally speaking, let me show you something in here that is a lot of fun. The fun things that we as architectural historians love to see. So this is just now a double doorway that enters into this gorgeous ensuite bath but it started its life as a jib door, a jib door that would have exited out onto the back gallery. How do we know? Well, first of all, we have an extant wheel and pulley for the upper sash that would have been here. And then you can see where there has been additions cut into this trim work. This would have been where your jib door would have set. So you would have had a short jib door that would have opened. You would have raised your sash here, and you would have been able to have ingress and egress onto that back gallery from a jib door. Now you have a beautiful double door for ingress and egress into your main bath suite. Well, here we are in what would have been the back gallery. When this home was built in 1858, this would simply have been the back porch. Now it would have been a much used living space. You would have had ingress and egress through this original gorgeous double door with its beautiful side light and transom. But now we enter into a fully modern family living space. But the owners have done some things that I absolutely love to bring the history of this home into this space. First of all, we have this gorgeous mantelpiece that surrounds the working fireplace in this room. You can see that it is made from boards that are Morrison tenon. So this would have been lumber that probably would have been here on the property somewhere, part of the original construction, reutilized into the mantel of this beautiful room in the family's sitting room where you can enjoy TV, lounging, and feel a little bit of relaxation from the perhaps stiffness and formality of living in a home that's nearly 200 years old. But let me show you my favorite feature of this room right over here. This whole back wall are these gorgeous windows, which in and of themselves are stunning. It overlooks the travertine lined pool, the gorgeous land, and there's even a family cemetery out there in the woods. But in the beautiful months of September, October, November, even December here in Natchez, Mississippi, and then early spring, as early as February, March, April, and May, all of these windows slide completely open to make this much more of a four seasons room. You can let that wonderful springtime air blow through, open that front door again, and once again, this home is cooled just the same way it was in 1858 when first built. Come 
with me as we go downstairs, we're gonna see an enormous laundry room, a dream laundry room, then a game room and a study. Now let's go up this beautiful staircase. At the top of the staircase, we're gonna find another full bath and two huge bedrooms. This is definitely a family home, beautifully laid out for comfortable family living. So let's take a look at the upstairs living space. Well, I'll remind you again, we're not realtors. We don't represent this home, we don't guarantee this home, and we're not trying to sell you this home. If you're interested in buying this beautiful home, Mount Pelier Plantation, which does happen to be for sale, there's a Zillow link in the description below, and you can contact the realtor through there. But I do have to tell you, this home has everything. If we were in the market for a home, this checks all the boxes. You have the incredible, well-recorded, well-documented history, not only of the first family who built the home, but of the architects and builders who were present here. Then you have the modern living in that back beautiful gallery space. There's an enormous air-conditioned shop, a pond, and even a family cemetery tucked away. And then, for us, best of all, this incredible outdoor living area. I'm under the cabana, listening to the travertine-lined pool gurgle behind me, sitting in the middle of the woods, what could possibly be better? So if you think you might be the next caretaker of this beautiful property, reach out to the realtor in the listing below. Otherwise, give us a like, subscribe, share this video with a friend that always helps with our engagement. And we thank you for being with us on Preservation Travels with Lane and Kevin here at Our Restoration Nation. We'll see you next time.